Hello friends. In the heart of a sprawling sugarcane field, a small avian family found its refuge. Sita, the wise mother bird, had nestled her four precious chicks amidst the towering sugarcane stalks. Their home was a heaven where the world was a tapestry of rustling leaves, golden sunlight, and a symphony of bird song. One sunny morning, an air of excitement swept through the sugarcane field as Ravi, the farmer's son, dashed into the scene. He was joined by his friends, their eyes dancing with anticipation. Ravi, exuberantly, hey, guys! Look here. The crops are ripe and ready, and tomorrow, we shall cut them. The field echoed with their gleeful chatter. Meanwhile, Sita, perched on the edge of her nest, overheard their words, and a shiver ran down her spine dot. Ravi's announcement filled the air with a sense of impending doom. Her chicks, still too young to fly, huddled close and quivered with fear. The eldest, Chirpy, voiced their collective concerns. Chirpy, apprehensively, Mom, what are we going to do? We can't fly yet, and if they cut the crops, we'll be in grave danger. Sita, a wellspring of comfort and wisdom, replied with a reassuring smile. Sita, fear not, my little ones. We've faced such trials before, and we've always found a way. As the days passed and Ravi's proclamations continued, an air of urgency swept through the nest. The chicks, feeling the impending danger, began to panic. They fluttered their wings desperately attempting to lift themselves off the ground. Though still too small to fly, their efforts did not go in vain. Day by day, their tiny wings grew stronger, and their resolve to escape the coming danger became unwavering. Chirpy, the eldest chick, practiced tirelessly, hopping from stalk to stalk, while Fluffy, the second chick, watched and mimicked. Even the two youngest chicks, Twinkle and Sparkle, tried their best to keep up. As the sun set each day, the sugarcane field transformed into a training ground, the little chicks learning to master their newfound ability. Then, one fateful day, the farmer himself stepped into the field with an unwavering air of determination. Farmer Ravi, the crops are ripe. Tomorrow, I shall cut them myself. The words sent shivers down their tiny spines. The farmer's direct involvement spelled imminent danger, and their incapacity to fly rendered them utterly vulnerable. Sita, softly, yet resolute, my little ones, the time for taking chances has passed. Tonight, we must leave our sanctuary and fly to the nearby tree. As the sun dipped below the horizon, they embarked on a daring escape under the veil of darkness. Sita led her precious brood to the nearby tree, their new heaven. They perched high in its branches, hidden from view, and observed the farmer as he approached to harvest the sugarcane an empty nest the only trace of their existence. The following day, the farmer told relentlessly, his eyes darting around the field in search of the birds that had grazed his sugarcane patch. Yet, the nest remained deserted, the birds far from sight. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Ravi, the farmer's son, gazed forlornly at the abandoned nest. He realized that the birds who had once called the sugarcane field their home had vanished, leaving only an empty nest as a silent testament to their bravery. 
In their new sanctuary, Sita gathered her chicks close, sharing a timeless lesson. Sita, my dear ones, remember, in the face of adversity, and when danger lurks, never lose hope. Even when it seems impossible, we can always find a way to protect our family. With their wings outstretched against the backdrop of the setting sun, they soared to new horizons, their journey a reminder that in every challenge, fortune often favors the brave. The Sugarkin Sanctuary, once a place of safety, had now become a beacon of resilience and determination for all who would hear their story. And it also showed that when one takes ownership, they're more likely to follow through with their commitment, as the farmer did when he declared that he would cut the crops himself. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you don't want to miss more videos.